Yo, what up everyone? Amir here, here, owner of Rappin' and Snacking. Get into another Collector's Corner video. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rappin' and Snacking. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. And at the end of the video, drop your favorite pickup, please. And I'll answer any questions you got. So starting off here, I only have CDs and vinyl. I don't have anything aside from that from this um, come up for this video. So CDs and vinyl is what you'll see and this one, first off, is something that I actually did a product unboxing slash showcase for. And this is Masterpiece, The Ghetto's Trying to Kill Me um, by Runner Records. Um, they're the ones who press this copy. And I go into much more detail in that video, so go ahead and check that out. I picked it up from the website. Not sure if they still have any copies for sale, um, but pretty dope pressing. I advise you to check out that video, especially if you're a fan of Master P or want that pressing or more info on it. Now, moving on, an eBay purchase I got here is Ice T and King T's compilation having a tea party. I'm really not sure if this is official at all. Um, it's put out by a label called KTEL, and I have, um, God, there's something on here, uh, KTEL, and it has a CD and tape release as well, which I have both. Um, but it's just a compilation of a few. There's tracks, four by Ice T, four by King T. And I had never seen a long box for this, so I saw it on eBay for 48 shipped, so I picked it up. And this doesn't even have a uh, release page on Discogs, so I've never seen one sell, I've never seen one before. Not sure how rare they are. This one's still sealed. It does have a little bit of a bend right here, but it's not like the biggest deal. Um, and it does have this promo cut right here. So anyways, 48 bucks shipped. If anyone has that, go ahead and let me know. I'd be intrigued to see uh, who else has that one. Now moving on, um, got a Discogs release. This was for $53 shipped, and I was very happy about this one. This is the Coos Steal This Album original pressing for $53 shipped, which is a great price. I saw this and I jumped on it. Pause. Um, you got a sealed copy of this like i said steal this album dope album by the coup and um yeah i don't really care if things are sealed per se when i buy them honestly i usually just prefer open because it's just cheaper and most of the times you know the intent is to play it right if, if something's so rare or whatever or if you have multiples you keep it sealed or whatever sometimes i'll keep something sealed this one, maybe I will keep sealed and find an open one if I can find for cheap, but we'll see. But steal this album, stoked at this one. This is a, like I said, pretty good price for 53 ship. That's, you know, that's after taxes as well. So that's pretty good from Discog. So it's very happy with that. Now moving on, I'm going to get into something else that I got from Discogs. Um, and then the rest after this will be from one store that I got the rest of the stuff from. So this is from Discogs. I got six CDs. These are from Japan, all of them. So <clears throat> this is $165 uh, dollars shipped from Japan. And this is one of those things, right? Like I just need to go over to Japan and, and bring an extra suitcase or two and buy a bunch of CDs and records, in particular CDs because the CDs... There's a lot of Japanese pressings with bonus cuts or tracks that are exclusive to Japan or whatever. So uh, that's something that I know I'll come back with a couple full suitcases of stuff. And also because you'll save a lot of money because shipping is a killer and also just because scarcity is a killer because people around the world don't have access to the stores there. So here, without further ado, I'm saying all that to say that this bundle was far more expensive than it would have been if I hadn't, or if I had bought it in Japan. And I think that um, how I operate sometimes, I'll usually every few months, I'll go ahead and buy stuff from a different region like the UK or Japan or Germany or stuff like that, just so I can kind of get some stuff from those regions as well. So this is this one. So this is Ice Cube's Laugh Now, Cry It Later was one of the CDs from the bundle. This is two extra tracks and also has the OB strip right here. Two extra tracks that are Japan only bonus tracks. It says one is called Run and the other is called Dicties. So got both of those um, on this CD right here. Now next one is KRS-One and the Temple of Hip Hop Spiritual Minded also with the OB strip. And this one does have 
um, the bonus track as well. This one doesn't say specific to Japan, but it's the Get Yourself Up Pete Rock remix. I think that's the only Japan bonus track because I'm forgetting the full track list on this album. Um, but yeah, Get Yourself Up Pete Rock remix is on this pressing too. Then we got Large Professor's first class CD right here. And this one has the bonus track back to back on it. So in case some of y'all have these albums in the U.S. pressing or other pressings, and you're like, damn, my pressing doesn't have that, doesn't have that. Maybe Spotify has it, maybe your streaming service has it, maybe iTunes has it for you to buy. Maybe it's a B-side on a single or whatever for some of these songs. Or you can just download it or listen on YouTube, right? Me, I just try and find physicals. Um, so yeah. Next up uh, is this album, RZA. Uh, you know, Bobby Digital in stereo. So this one is interesting because it, in most cases, bonus tracks are added to the end of the album. Um, in this case, the bonus track is in the middle of the album, pretty much. There's 16 tracks on this pressing, and this album is actually very confusing. So you have a U.S. pressing, I mean, you have multiple pressings, but I this is either my third or my fourth pressing. I have the U.S., I have an Australia one, which has a different track list as well, and I have this Japan one. I'm trying to see on my shelf if I can identify it. Um, okay, this is my third pressing because I see two over there. So I have a US, I have an Australia, and now I have a Japan, and all have a different track list. So for those who like this album or are just intrigued, look that up. And there are also just maybe more pressings too. Um, it's possible UK has another track list. I don't know off the top of my head. It's possible Canada does. Um, so just look into these things. For Japan, however, this one has the bonus cut in the middle of the album at track 11. It's called Do You Hear the Bells, 9-Minute Freestyle, and then it says Special Bonus Track for Japan Only. So, very interesting. I haven't heard that song yet, so excited to peep that one out. Next up, we got Dub C's Revenge of the Barracuda. Now, this is just, like, freaking ridiculous. And the reason why this is ridiculous... Also, one thing to worth note, Dub C's Revenge of the Barracuda just isn't a cheap CD in general. You won't find this for cheaper than 20 or 30 bucks. I mean, I've seen it even sell for 50 bucks. Just the standard US pressing. So the Japan pressing, um, this, I mean, alone in this 165 um, bundle isn't so terrible, right? Even though, like I said, this is all an overpay. But this one tracks 13 to 16 are all bonus tracks for japan so like you saw in some of these instances you had one maybe two tracks that were bonus cuts this is four so this has the tracks it's official frontline dr mandingo and back to the basics so you got four tracks that are specifically for japan so that's pretty wild now last up this one actually kind of pissed me off this is west side connections terrorist threats um well, this one didn't come with the OB, and, you know, I prefer if I can have the OB, especially, you know, I think OBs these days are so damn trendy because you got a bunch of U.S. companies making OBs, you know, like, especially you saw with the whole, like, Griselda movement, Doubt movement, Dope, Doubt, whatever, that movement, they have all these OBs, and it's like, they're a company based in the U.K., or Griselda's a company based in the U.S., and to me, that's... I would just keep it to Japan. So with Japan, it's like they're the ones who made this stuff. So it makes sense for them. In this instance, I don't have the Obi strip. It didn't come with it. But, you know, it's not a make or break situation for me. So you may be wondering why it's not here. And then on top of that, uh, this bonus track, the reason why it annoyed me is because it has the track Please Believe It on it, which is the bonus track for Japan. But P Please Believe It is on a Mac 10 album or Mac 10 compilation. So it's like, it doesn't even have the West Side Connection members on it. It just has Mac-10 on it. doesn't have Dub-C. It doesn't have Ice Cube. So I'm like, that's a cop-out for a bonus track for Japan. I don't know if the Japanese people were pissed. I was definitely very annoyed. So anyways, those six CDs were 165 shipped from Japan. So like I said, man, some of these international shipping you know and releases and like those kind of pressings those can be more expensive so last up is everything that i got from this one store in long beach california called bagatelle records 
the shop owner is super old school they only accept cash dope spot but he's super super old school kind of guys he's, he's actually hilarious um so yeah 128.98 and i've actually taken all the price tags off um so i don't know the exact individual prices but anyways i'm going to show you all these anyways um but i will say this here how about this because i can see on the receipt the most expensive thing i purchased was 12 dollars, and the least expensive thing i purchased was 4.99 so that kind of gives you a, a gauge of, of what these cost so here's jazz's first album word to the jazz boom 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 obviously a lot of people know the Hawaiian Sophie stuff with Jay-Z in this album. So there you have that. Now moving on, I actually had this, but it was like, I think seven or eight bucks. So I just bought it again because my copy didn't have the hype sticker. And I'm like, whatever. This is L Cool J's Walking with a Panther. Still has the hype sticker right here. Awesome uh, album and cover. And it's funny because we got two big cats on both of these covers so i find that interesting that that just happened to be and next up we have a little compilation here master aces the lost tapes um got six tracks on it and master aces one of those very has a very confusing discography because he has a lot of things that are just loose cuts don't have a home in terms of an album he has a lot of things on compilations like this or bigger ones unreleased cuts just look at his discogs and you'll see a bunch of like releases that aren't even full-length albums or just compilations and and stuff like that and he has a bunch of songs with other artists that it's like damn i wish these had official albums so his discography is kind of hard to track so there's that and then we got coolio and the 40 febs dial a jam right here this is from the jerky boys soundtrack i don't have that soundtrack um so i picked this one up it's got the remix on it too and it's got four fly guys uh, performed by a hurricane boom 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 hype sticker in the middle right there moving on we have let me move this there we have cali agents never forget right here so planet asia rasco uh, also has point blank range i like the back art too right there boom 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 then next up we have this one which i was shocked they didn't have this is dj js1 featuring cool g raps take a loss right there and it also has the track did one like this and untitled abuse uh those have different artists on it um so boom right there and next up these are two that were made in england it indicates uh on the stickers um so it's just interesting because it says made in england but in the back it's distributed in the usa so it's like okay so you obviously have to do a little bit more research where these ones are from um but i believe this one is uh, a boot from england because some of this uh text is slightly distorted so this is fat joe de gangsters the shit is real right here shout out to fat joe so pick that one up and then i also got another one same situation fat joe de gangsta watch the sound um and it also has the remix by the beat nuts and uh yeah pick both of those up now this one was cool this is from the uk and i hadn't seen this one before this is fushnikin's heavenly father so pick this one up right here it's got a remix on it as well and also has ring the alarm so like i said i'd never seen this copy or this pressing before so i was pretty happy to add it to the collection uh those who may not know fushnikin's one of their more popular songs is uh true fushnik um they also have the, the track with shaquille o'neal which i'm sure maybe some of y'all know but uh yeah cool stuff then we got here grand eddie i use pick up the pace um boom 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 cold chillin i don't think there's any other tracks on here doesn't look like so there you have it then we have killer mike's adidas all day i dream about sex and it has you know it's interesting depending on the era you may see like weird promotions on vinyl singles cd singles whatever and this one on the back it says win a set of brand new technics 1210 mk 5 gs and then it's basically saying how to enter to win so you have that promo on the on the back so it's just hilarious that it's like ingrained in the art right there um but there you there you have that one 
Now, this is one of my favorites. Um, just as ludicrous is awesome. We have ludicrous Saturday. Ooh, ooh. And um, it's also got Move Bitch on it and Southern Hospitality Remix. Boom, boom, boom. I was happy to find this one because I have not seen this one in person. And I have a feeling this is a UK. It says Made in the European Union. Yeah, so that explains why I haven't seen this one. So always when I see stuff Made in the European Union, I try and pick it up if I can because uh, they're not as easy to come by. Then we got Professor Griff's Jail Sale right there. Clever with the... Uh, text with the jail because it kind of looks like he's behind prison bars so i always like that also on the b side as incognito so got that one too boom 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 then i know my guy storm baker will like this because this is his favorite rapper schoolie d this is another sign right here and it also has a remix on it so right there got the promo cut and then lastly of this 128 dollar purchase from bagatelle records is Stetsasonic, bleh, Stetsasonic right here, Sally. And then it also has the track DBC Let the Music Play. Um, and there you have it. Also, I love this artwork. This is just awesome, awesome, awesome artwork. It just, it just is dope as hell. Um, so there you have that. I mean, Bagatelle Records got some a lot of dope singles, a couple albums and, and whatnot, a compilation. So that is everything for this episode. Let me know your favorite stuff down below. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok, I'm rapping and snacking. If you have any questions, also let me know. Um, but always fun chatting with y'all. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bless up.